How are y'all doing guys? Just V3 and welcome to this week's play review. Look who is in the squad. We have in form 86 overall, Samuel Eto. This guy is an absolute beast and I can't wait to tell you how good he is. But this is the team we'll be playing him in. A few good players such as M and EK, as Honda, as Denisov, who's actually a really, you know, cheap beast. Hubokan, Bochete, some really good players. But the link to that squad builder will be in the description. It was recorded quite a few months ago, so my apologies apologies for that my commentary isn't as good as it will be now but let's move on to some in-game stats for Samueletto now and I'll be back with you in a second so moving on to some in-game stats now and I apologize it's not recorded from an Elgato or anything but nevertheless the GFX are amazing on it so moving on to some mental attributes 81 aggression 84 attacking positioning and 78 vision pretty decent there but moving on to some physical attributes they are insane 91 acceleration 92 agility 89 jumping 92 reactions 92 sprint speed and they're pretty much it for the physical attributes but moving on to the skill attributes as well they are beast 2 87 ball control 85 curve 86 dribbling 95 finishing 81 heading 81 long shots 96 penalties 90 shot power 89 volleys they are absolutely insane guys and i can't wait to tell you how much how good he is in the get clips which i'm going to bring you now so i'll see you there in a second so in the background you'll be able to see some decent goals and assists and I'm going to talk about my overall opinion on Inform Eto now. His pace guys is amazing, he feels a lot faster than 91, feels about 94, I'm being perfectly honest guys, he's really good. He can beat any defender in the game practically, except Marvel Wind, but that is just ridiculous and I never come up against Marvel Wind, basically because he's awkward chemistry reasons and all that and he can't fit into many squads. His dribbling guys is really good, it feel, felt... You know, it's, the ball st stuck to his feet all the time. It is so nice to have. I, I partnered, partnered him up with MNEK, and MNEK felt very sluggish, but Eto he kept the ball all the time. And he also has four star skills, so he can do the required skills, you know, that I like. He can do the heel chop. You know, I'm not really that much of a skiller, but I normally just use the heel chop, and that is perfect for me. He does it nice and smoothly. It is perfect. His shooting is 85. If that there is good. It's as good as Van Persie, and Rooney, and Aguero, and you know all those type of players. It really is, guys. It feels like that, and he's probably just as good. It, not if not even better than those three players I just mentioned. By the way, by the way, guys, his passing is not that great. It's 72, but you know it felt a bit less. I don't know. It's just, he made some silly passes, and I just got a bit frustrated. But that was quite rare because I'd never really got frustrated with Eto. His heading is only 78, but I didn't really have time to really just try that because I didn't cross him outside the box. M most of the headers that I scored with him were just tap-ins. His work rates are high medium now, guys. I think that this is a lie. I think it's high low because it feels like that. He's always at the right place at the right time. It's really good. I just love having that. The work rates are just really important in FIFA. So, guys, I'm going to rate uh, Inform Eto a 9 out of 10, mainly because his weak foot is really bad. It is 3 star, and his price is a little on the you know, expensive side. It's 357k on the Xbox and 347k on the PS3. That price is rapidly going down as you are watching this video, but hope you enjoyed this video. I gave Eto a 9 out of 10 and I definitely recommend you go and try him out. That's if his price drop because it is quite expensive and I will see you in the next video and hope you enjoyed it and please leave a like. Cheers.